we're going to switch gears now to a really <clears throat> tough subject, but one that's also really important to talk about. So in some cultures, I didn't know this, I'm learning about this, there is a somewhat barbaric practice, you could say, that continues today. This is known as honor killing. It is the killing of a relative, usually a girl or a woman, who's perceived as having brought dishonor to the family. This was almost hard to read for me this morning. Yeah, well, joining us this morning is author Layla Ayubi, who has penned nothing short of a tragic story, yeah. Nikki's Honor. Now, you are an Afghanistan native, uh, now teaching here at Butler University and Martin University. Let's talk about honor killing. How, how widespread is this? Yeah, this culture, it's a traditional culture, is not only happening in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Turkey, Iran. It's happened all around the world, wow. even in Italy and Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And also there are many cases in the United States. In this is something for me that's really hard to wrap my head around. Can you tell me what this means, honor killing? Because I, I read the part to where it's bringing dishonor to your family. What does this mean exactly? What does that entail? Uh, it is, uh, at the beginning, it was kind of too much protective of women and girls. But later, kind of, you know, they started uh, as a shame to the family. Like okay. if a girl became pregnant before wedding. Oh, wow. Or ran away with a boy. Okay. Uh, or even get raped. In this what? book, uh, it is actually the um, girl is a casualty of a rape. Mm. Oh uh, my goodness! Let, let's talk a little bit about Nikki's honor. This is a, it's a fictional tale based very much on fact. Um, and and what is what is Nikki's story? Yeah. Uh, Nikki's story is about uh, a beautiful uh, village girl mm -hmm. who innocently became entangled in a series uh, which uh, brought uh, an end to her fairy, tree, uh, fairy wow. tale life. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, her uh, story, if you read the book or anybody who wants to read yeah. the book, it's about uh, uh, a very nice love story, beginning with a love story. Mm -hmm. But when she became uh, kind of victim of yeah. a rape, then that series happened to her and finally her fairy tale ends yeah. in a tragic. I wonder what do you hope readers who might pick up this book and read it, what message do you hope it sends? What do you hope it takes, what do you hope they take away from it rather? Yeah, my wish is that uh, people uh, hear that voice and work together yeah. to stop uh, those kind of practices mm -hmm. and also actually in general should they stop mm -hmm. violence against yeah. girls and women. Mm -hmm. And the first step is awareness, right? Is knowing that, exactly. like me, mm -hmm. this stuff actually happens, being aware about the problem. Exactly. Like uh, when I was teaching uh, at Butler University, one chapter of my uh, textbook briefly mentioned about honor killings, which was very uh, strange to my students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I wrote the book, uh, I, they gave them more information with more examples. Mm. Wow. Um, and I, I want to ask you this because you, you are a native of Afghanistan. Um, what are your concerns right now about your home country and, and, and the state that they are in? Uh, to be honest, like uh, since I live here almost more than 35 years, mm -hmm. uh, I'm listening everything from news, mm -hmm. and I don't have any idea yeah. what's going on. And uh, just the only my concern is about uh, uh, school for girls uh, yeah. are closed. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the first time I was uh, uh, in uh, as a diplomat in Islamabad and heard about the school was closed. Uh, I wrote a book, my thesis, mm -hmm. about education for Afghan refugee girls, kind of mm -hmm. concentration on home schools. And now I offered for my uh, Afghan people who ac have access to TV or internet or YouTube sure. to kind of take advantage of uh, yeah. opening the home schools, that is out there home schools in their own yeah. way or in their home. She is Leila Ayubi. We appreciate you being with us this morning. And Thank you so much. There's the book, folks. Yeah. Thank, you Thank you so you. much for the opportunity.